All right, today's video is on speed and velocity. First of all, for most people, when you think about velocity, most people probably, first thing I would think pops in your head is you think about like a car going down the highway. Let's get a nice car here. Go zoom. That's, that's a horrible looking car. Hard to get Eddie over here to draw this car with me. I don't know. He might be a worse drawer than I am. So here's this car going down the road, and we think about this car and how many times somebody, a state trooper, pulls up and says, hey, you're speeding. You're going 65 miles per hour. And so that is, for most of us, that is what, when we think of speed and velocity, this is what we think of for speed and velocity. We think about that car going 65 miles per hour, maybe a nice fastball being thrown at us. Boom, here comes that fastball barreling down 102 miles per hour. And really, that's where we come in to thinking about this idea of speed and velocity. So they're not exactly the same thing, though. Speed and velocity are not really the same thing. The biggest difference with velocity is velocity has a direction, as we'll actually call it. So ve velocity actually has a direction. In other words, with a velocity, I might write something has a positive velocity, or I might even write that something has a negative velocity. If I say that something has a positive velocity, that means that the object's going towards the right. If I draw something that direction, well, that just means it's got a negative velocity. And that's in 10th grade or physical science, that's not that common. But in physics, it is. We've all, we're often working problems where things are bounced against walls or things like that. So anyway, let's kind of move on and pick us up another page here so that we can get into this a little bit more. Now, when we look at velocity, and really in the world of physics, velocity is what I'm usually looking at. Velocity as a formula is actually displacement over time. Now, if we look at the formula, you're like, okay, so what would you call speed? Well, speed is not all that different. Speed is just distance over time. And so you're looking at, and the first thing should be popping in your head, well, what is the difference between this word displacement and this word distance? Well, distance is kind of like, it's kind of like how far you travel. Whereas, on the other hand, displacement, displacement is really, it's how far your start is from your start from stop. How far have you went from start to stop? And that's really what displacement is. Now, the formula I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you an equation here. So here's V. And if you look, there's a little tail hanging off of that V there. That's my tail that lets you know this is velocity. If you are unfamiliar with what the line is, that little line just means average. If I'm going to write my first equation, average velocity is equal to x over t. We're, let's see if we can break this down. Average velocity... And for the most part, I'm going to use units of meters per second. You're not going to see me use miles per hour, but we could use a mile per hour. It's not out of the question. We could, and I'm trying to sit here and think if there's anything, uh, for the most part, we might even use a kilometer per hour, but you're not going to see me do that very much. But anyway, uh, let's see. X is displacement. And displacement is measured in meters. Now, I'm not going to write it down here, but I mean, x could also be, it could be a mile, or it could even be a kilometer. Heck, it could be feet for that matter. It doesn't matter. But anyway, a displacement is literally how far, where did you start, where did you stop? That's literally what a displacement is. So, and then the last thing we've got is time. And time is usually either in seconds or hours. Now, the most common units for me in physics is meters per second, meters in seconds. So this is what you'll see me work in a bunch. 
Now, this is kind of an important formula. Uh, so now you might be going, well, Mr. Cole, are you going to write down this speed distance time equation up here? No, not really. Even if I work a speed problem, I only use this one equation. I don't like memorizing 400 equations. So even if the problem says speed, I'm still going to use velocity. If it says distance, I'm still going to just use the letter X. I'm not going to like stress out over this. Now, I do want to go over what is the difference between displacement and distance. I do want to kind of break that down a little bit. So let's say we've got somebody, and they're starting right here. So here's my little person. How is it going? I will just don't know why I drew the little dot down there. And I, Wow, that's a horrible-looking person. But anyway, so here comes this person. Let's see that this person runs to right here. Here I am. I would say that that person has an X of 3. That would be their X. They started at 0, and they stopped at 3. So this person has an X of 3. Well, let's say we've got somebody else. Let's say that they, let, here we go. They start here, and they run to 5. But now let's get crazy. They come back to 3, and that's where they stop. This is where I'll get somebody. What is, here you go, this is your opportunity. What is that person's, now notice this is, I'm saying displacement. Their displacement, how far, I'm asking start to stop. How far are they? Well, they started at 0 and they stopped at 3. So my x is 3. Now you might be looking going, but wait a second, they run, they run all the way over to here before they run back. Yeah, you're right. That's why if I was asking you distance, if I was saying distance and being nitpicky about it, I would actually say that they ran 5 and then they ran back 2. So distance, I would say, is 7. So hopefully you're getting a little idea on here. I'm going to try like one more. Let's, let's go ahead and say somebody starts at 1. And let's have this person run to three, but then they get there, I don't want to be there, and they turn around, ah, and they run all the way back, okay, I feel safer now, and they run over to here, so what if I ask you to find x for this person, where did they start, one, where did they finish, negative four, so how far are they from where they started, so there's my start, here's my stop, how far apart are they? Negative 5. That's how far I am from where I started. Now, I got one more question. This is always a good way to get somebody. What if somebody started here, and they run the 5, but then was like, I don't want to be there, and they come running all the way back to where they started? What would X be for this person? Uh, zero. Good job. Because they started and stopped uh, uh, the exact same place. Okay, so you're getting a little bit of an idea. Now, I'm going to break this down. So let's do some insert. Give me one more page. I'm going to work a couple of examples. First equation for the year, velocity is equal to x over t. So average, so v of the line means average velocity. And it's, I'm going to say, usually I'm in meters per second, but it could be a miles per hour. X is displacement, which is very close to being the same thing as distance. Close, but not the same. I'm usually going to measure it in meters. And then T is time in seconds. Now, again, this could be a mile per hour. I like repeating this. That could even be a mile, and this could be hours. I mean, it just depends. The only thing that's a big deal is the units have to match when you do a problem. And now let's just go straight into let's actually just do a problem. Let's stop beating around the bush. Let's get into one. So take a look at this. Flojo! Flojo! 
Florence Griffith Joyner. Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I am just set a women's world record for running the 200 meters. I'm going to put a line under that 200 meters in 1988. Does 1988 have anything to do with the problem? No. And then look at this. She ran the 200 meters in 21.34 seconds. Your job is to figure out what is V, what is X, what is T. What's funny, I can do it without reading it. Look at your unit. This says 200 meter. 200 meter, that means that's got to be an X. So what is 21.34 seconds over here? 21.34 seconds. Wait a second. That's a time. So I've got my X. I've got my time. Write down your equation. V equals X over T. Now, substitute. V equals, in place of X, 200. In place of T, and now all I have to do is divide, except for the fact, apparently, I do not have a calculator. I'll give me a break. I seriously not have. I'll have to use the dumb little calculator that comes on my huh? computer here. Let's see if I can do this. So what have I got? 200 divided by 21.34. Looks like I got what? 9.37. Uh, let's do sig figs. 9.372. And my unit should be a meter per second. Put me a little box around it. Bam. And I am done with that problem. Be done with the problem. All right. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can't do one of the other ones now. Except for the fact my eraser is not coming on. Eraser. I'm trying to erase. And instead of erasing, my computer is having a duck. I guess maybe I'll just try and write. So maybe I can just fit in the next problem down underneath there. Polar bears. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm scared of bears. It says that polar bears can travel 10 hours. And look at this. Here's what it tells me. It gives me two things. It gives me a speed and this. So it's giving me 2.6 meters per second. Well, that's a velocity. 10 hours, that's my time. Now, there's just one catch. I've got meters per second over here and hours here. These units have to match. So I'm going to have to do something. I've got to get that 10 hours times. There are 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. Wait a minute. That means there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. Therefore, an hour is 36,000 seconds. So I got my units to match. So let's see what we can't do now. So we've got, let's write down our equation, V, X over T. Now let's substitute. It gave me a V. It said that V is 2.6. X over 36 thousand. So how do I do this mathematically? How do you get rid of that 36,000 on bottom? Well, you times both sides by 36,000. I'm kind of running out of room here. Man, this is going to be kind of an ugly looking little bit of a problem. So 36,000 times 2.6 93,000 600 meters. This polar bear is going on a trip. Hey, make sure in any of these problems that you work, make sure to check your units. If I give you hours, oh, I'm seeing one on my screen right now. This one says days, hours, minutes. I can't handle that. Uh, let's see. This problem says kilometers. Well, that's not a problem because it says kilometers there too. Your units have to match. Uh, look at number nine. 10 kilometers, 5.64 meters per second. My units don't match. So you got to Google me. What in the world? The Concorde Jet. Ooh, Concorde Jets are cool. They look like this. They got a little 
pointy nose on there, and they're like, shoo, I'll go flying through the air. Okay, back to my task. Anyway, hey, let's do the last problem. <laughs> Where are we? A baseball. A baseball is pitched with a speed of 35 meters per second. Wish I had more room on the screen. That's a, hey, dumb thingy. That's a velocity. 18.4 meters. That's an X. So this problem gave me V and X. Luckily, they match, so my units are good. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to write my equation because I'm a good boy. X over T. Now, it told me that V is what? 35. So this is 35 equals X, which is 18.4 over T. All right, I need a little bit of math done here. If I want to solve for t, what's the opposite of dividing by t? Multiply both sides by t. And so I get 35t, 18.4. Now, divide both sides by 35. It's just like math class. If you saw 2x equals 8, what would you do? You'd divide both sides by 2. So t is equal to... 18.4 divided by 35. So 18.4 divided by 35. 0 0.52, 0 0.526. That is my answer. Oops, seconds. Always make sure to write a unit. Put in your little box. All right, that's it. Other than that, you got problems one through nine to try and do. Watch out for your units. Oh, look at this one. 9.7 meters per second, 3.4 minutes. No, no, no. Wow, that sounds weird. Anyway, you got to make sure your units match. If that one is in meters per second, this one has to be turned into seconds. So anyway, you got an idea what to do. So good luck, have fun, and uh, drink your milk. It's really important and stuff. So bye.